Barkov's able to block the shot. McDavid tried to center. Forsling blocked it. Got it up to the line. Losterin thinking about a shorthanded rush. Flips it into the right wing corner. Stenlund goes there with Dry Seidel. Nugent Hopkins now for the Oilers, and it's taken by Bouchard. The Edmonton power play. Not as prolific lately and facing a Panther penalty kill that's killed 35 of the last 37. Against some pretty good competition in that span. Boston, New York, and now Edmonton. Down low, Dreisaitl played off by Nugent Hopkins. McDavid tried to go cross ice to Dreisaitl. Barkov got a stick on it and deflected it out of the rink and Bobrovsky wound up on the ice. And Zach Hyman has made a season of 54 goals in the regular season and 14 in the playoffs. All of them about two feet from the front of the net. Watch Hyman 18 as he gets bumped a little bit by Ekblad. Because he's bumped, he's not really going to try and stop himself. He runs into Bobrovsky as Barkov makes another good stick play like we just showed from last game to deflect that puck up into the netting. The Oilers will keep these five guys on the ice for as much of this power play as they can. Hyman's 14 goals leading the playoffs by four. Five of those are on the power play. Dreisaitl leads Edmonton with six power play goals. They have 55 seconds a man up. We're scoreless. More than seven minutes gone by in game two of the Stanley Cup final. Connor McDavid avoided a check from Nico Mikola. Barkov has it and Kulikov clears. Against the Dallas Stars, they started out, the Oilers did in the first four games, 0 for 6. They didn't score in the first four games on the power play. They got four in the last two games of the series. This starts out the same way as Florida's going to kill the first four of their power plays. As this one's down to 20 seconds. Without a shot attempt yet for Edmonton. Close to Renan, slowed McDavid for a moment. Dry sidle now. Drops it back for Bouchard. Across. And Hyman struggled with the puck, then got pressured by Ekblad. Here it comes to Dry sidle. A couple of men down low and a good stick by Ekblad to deny the fade to Hyman. Bennett's out of the box. The fans are on their feet. Now Kachuk, who had just one shot in game one. High drive by Ekman Larson. Might have gone off the shoulder of Skinner and up into the netting 